What's up guys, Ash Tech here, and we got episode one in the Q&A series here today. Now, I used to be totally against Q&A series because I felt like if you have a comment, I'd just answer in the comment section below, but there's been so many comments that are around the same kind of questions, I figured I'd just answer it so you guys don't have to keep asking these questions. So I went ahead and asked you guys on Twitter to um, post your questions of what you wanted to an be answered. So we, uh, we picked out a few and we're gonna be answering them here for you guys today. So the first question that we got here is, what phone do you use and what phone do you recommend? So my daily driver, essentially. Um, and I actually use two phones. So for my home and my personal life, I use the iPhone 7 Plus. Um, I decided not to get the iPhone 8 yet, as that's already out right now, and wait for the iPhone X, because while the iPhone 8 is better than the S Plus, it's not gonna be anywhere near where the X is gonna be. So I recommend waiting for the X if you plan to get a new iPhone right now. But for my work and my professional and my YouTube work, I actually use the Galaxy S8, not the Plus, just the S8. Um, this phone is absolutely amazing, and I don't want to spoil too much because I'm going to be doing a review of this phone in the upcoming week. But um, this phone is absolutely beautiful. It's got the almost full bezel-less display, and it's just a great phone all around to use. Kind of going off that question, the next question that we have is, what do you think about the new upcoming iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus? So, like I said before, the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus are great phones by themselves. So, if we didn't know that there was an iPhone X coming in a couple weeks, I would definitely recommend getting the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus. It's just the glass back, the wireless charging, the better battery life are the things that no one are really talking about because of the iPhone X coming up. So, completely objective view, the iPhone 8 is definitely the best iPhone out right now but unfortunately it is gonna be surpassed by the iPhone X when that comes out. So while I definitely think it's a good phone, I would definitely not buy it. I would wait for the iPhone X for that to come out. Okay, so the next question that we got for you guys today is thoughts about Porsche's new Tesla rival. Now I actually really like this question because not a lot of people are talking about this, but yes, Porsche does have a new electric car concept that they came up with. Um, and honestly, it's absolutely beautiful. The interior has Porsche signature all over it, and it's just an all-around good-looking car. Now, can they actually do it? That's what's to come in the following months. But if they can, I think they will definitely give Tesla a run for their money. The problem for Porsche right now is Tesla is kind of the, the mogul in the electric car industry right now. Um, they've been there for a while. They already got the superchargers set up. They already got people thinking about them when you think electric car. But I think with Porsche's design, which absolutely looks flawless, and the general Porsche mindset as well, that everyone knows Porsche is a great car company, and since they are projected to be around the same price, I think Porsche and Tesla definitely are gonna have some competition in that area. What is your favorite movie and gadget out of that movie, and will you do a DIY video of building it? So my favorite movie as of currently, is going to be actually the original and the sequel of Kingsman. Now, Kingsman, if you haven't seen it, is an absolutely amazing spy movie with a hint of comedy and a lot of action that definitely makes it worth watching. So if you haven't watched it, I definitely recommend you go out and watch it and watch the new one, of course, because I honestly like the second one a lot. Usually the sequels tend to be worse than the first ones, but I think they were about on the same level. But if you haven't seen it, definitely go look at it because the gadget that I'm going to be talking about is definitely one of my favorite. It's the umbrella gun slash shield out of Kingsman. So in this movie, the Kingsman spies have this umbrella that when they open it up is completely bulletproof, unless you have a sniper, of course, and has a projection of what is behind the umbrella so that you can essentially see a video of what's past it. So you have complete awareness. And when you are ready to use it, it actually can shoot out of the top of the umbrella by clicking a trigger on the handle. And it obviously have different modes, but that would be more complicated. So yes, I'm definitely gonna do a DIY build of that. The Hacksmith has one right now. Um, it's, it's really good. Um, it doesn't look quite as great as the actual one. And obviously that's movie CGI. So you can't expect anything to get as close as, to that as possible, but we might be able to do a little bit better if we really put work into it. Thoughts about Twitter's testing of a 280 word tweet. Horrible, way too long. Is iPhone X a foldable smartphone? No. iPhone X versus upcoming Pixel rumors. 
Okay, so for those of you who don't know, Google is releasing or having their Pixel showcase this week. And honestly, I was pretty excited when I saw the Pixel mockups, the leaks that were going out. But it turns out most of those leaks were fakes. It was shown that these Pixels, they're releasing three new phones, the Pixel 2, the Pixel 2X, and the basically competitive version of the iPhone X, so they're trying to do a full bezel-less display too, but it turns out that most of those were actually not true, which is actually kind of sad because those looked amazing in the leaks, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see what they've come up with. So far, it's my understanding that the Pixel definitely is gonna give Apple a run for its money. The Pixel has always been a great phone to use. The Pixel, when it originally came out, was definitely a game changer, so I'm very excited to see the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2X. So I guess when those come out, we'll just have to do a review on them. All right, guys, thanks you so much for watching. Be sure to go down, hit that thumbs up button, and leave a comment, subscribe below. Um, if you guys have noticed, if you guys have been keeping up with us, we're getting very close to that 1,000 subscriber mark, which makes me very happy. So thank you all to those who are subscribed right now. And if you're debating whether or not to subscribe, there's definitely gonna be a giveaway at the 1,000 subscribe button. So make sure you hit that button below so you can keep updated on all our videos and be aware of when the giveaway comes out. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. We'll be doing one of these every month, so be sure you go ahead and follow us on Twitter too so you can leave a reply so you can get your question answered. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>